Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and welcome to the third video in the rotational motion series. This is an introduction to angular frequency or angular velocity. So we're going to talk about what it is and a simple calculation involved with angular frequency. So whereas we've been talking about things rotating and a simple uh, way of measuring that is frequency, symbol f, which measures rotations per second. In the second video we looked at how radians were actually a better value to work with than full rotations or half rotations or quarter rotations. So angular frequency or angular velocity, and at this level of uh, high school you can think of them as the same thing. So we use those words interchangeably, angular frequency, angular velocity. They are, instead of rotations per second, they are radians per second that an object rotates at. The symbol for angular frequency is the Greek letter omega, which is uh, similar to a, like a curly W. And the units for angular frequency or angular velocity are radians per second. So normal velocity is measured in meters per second. And this is what we're looking at, how many radians we're turning through each second. Um, so it's radians per second. The way we calculate uh, omega or angular frequency is through uh, the formula omega equals 2 pi f. So as a, as a very easy example of uh, how to use this formula, given something that has a, a frequency of 4 hertz or 4 rotations per second and I've asked you to find omega, how would you go about that? So you just give us the formula omega equals 2 pi f and just key in the values 2 times pi times 4 hertz um, which if you were doing your calculator gives 25 radians per second. But what if they were giving something that spins not with frequency but with time period? <coughs> Excuse me. Now you recall that we have a formula to calculate um, omega but it has frequency instead, instead of time period but we have another way of calculating frequency and that's frequency is 1 over time period. So we'd use that first to convert the time period into a frequency and it turns out the numbers I've chosen here, 0.25, calculates as 4 hertz which is the same calculation we had before. And it gives us the same answer obviously. So it's as simple as that, angular frequency is how many radians something is rotating at per second and the reason we use that is the same in the last video, our calculations end up being easier. So this video is just giving you a quick introduction to angular frequency and quickly how you calculate it.